Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So, let's get started. Well, today we're going to be doing my nails, so... Know what's on my nails today? Or at least, nothing's on my nails. How about that? Um, all right, I've already got all the cuticles pushed back. I have buffed my nails. I have totally prepped them. They are ready to go. So we have, we're using Mia's Secret Nail Prep Dehydrator. We're going to throw two coats of that bad boy on. Then, after it looks all nasty, we're going to go ahead and put a coat of Young Nails Protein Bond on. Make sure we get the whole nail covered. Party, party. Varnas, Varnas. Okay. And I am putting Igel Beauty's base coat on, scrubbing it in nice and good. As you can see, it's a little bit sped up, but I am just pretty much after you scrub it in, I'm pretty much wiping 90% of it off of the nail. Just make sure it's a nice flat surface. Then we're going to move on to Nail Nails Pure Purple. And I'm doing my pointer finger in pure purple. I'm doing the whole nail, even though the whole nail doesn't like to be seen apparently on this video. We're going to go ahead and just do that. I'm just doing an overlay on my natural nails because I like the length that they're at now and I don't I'm trying to keep them nice and keep them strong, make sure that they don't break. And right now we're just putting, I'm putting a thick enough coat on there for it to be opaque, but nothing more because it is a, it's not a strength powder, it's a color powder, so you have to have this strength powder to go over the top of it. This is pure blue, by the way, from Nail Nails, just in case you were wondering. It's actually one of my favorite blue colors. I've already gone through one pot of it, if that tells you anything, and I have a lot of blues. So, but yeah, like I said, we're just making that color opaque because I want it opaque. And so you just put on a really thin layer, as thin as you can, really, of the colors. And then you can you go ahead and usually you would use a clear coat. Today I'm going to be using a builder in a bottle. Sorry, I had something on there. Fuzzy, I think. So there is the thumb. Nope, not done yet. <laughs> I had a little bit more color there. I tell you what, I have not done acrylics for quite a while, and I mean, it seems like quite a while, but it is definitely not like riding a bike. You forget all the little nuances that go with it. There's my pinky, and we're using Flamingo Pink, for also from Nail Nails. And this one just goes on so nice. Must be that third nail. Just, you know, you just got to get you know, two nails done at least before you start really remembering what you're doing. Maybe it's all three because, yeah, I have a little nick up there. <laughs> what do you think? Three nails and then maybe you're good? But this one went on really smoothly, really easily. Maybe because it was just a little baby pinky finger. I'm not sure. But it is very highly pigmented. Very nice color. And obviously you can do whatever you want with whatever colors you want. This is just how I did it. Now I'm using this plate and 
clear jelly stamping stampers stamping polish and I'm putting the white on first I didn't show you that I put white on the two middle nails I don't know what I was doing but here is the little dragonfly image that I'm going to be using today and I'm just gonna putting that on the nail as a guide for where I want to put the colors I don't know if you've ever seen oh I'm just getting behind <laughs> just so far behind today so this is blooming gel I put on a layer of blooming gel it's just some born pretty stuff I've had for quite a while and I'm taking a small brush and I am dipping it in the three different colors of acrylic that I was using and I'm just kind of tapping that into where the dragonfly is and I'm hoping that it'll bloom a little bit like though have you seen those watercolor pictures where it it's kind of a mess where there's splotches everywhere but there's like an outline and it I don't know I just thought they looked really cool I should have found one pulled it out for you but I thought I would try that I wanted to see if the blooming gel would actually do something with powders I'm not sure if I liked what it did or not. I mean, I think I, I liked the way it turned out, but I'm almost wondering if I wouldn't have been better off without the blooming gel. But I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And now, after I've got that all done and beautified and cured, of course, I totally cured it. We're going to go ahead and use clear jelly stampers in black and I'm going to put that as close to where the original one was as possible. And that's how the end result looks. That's how she came out. I kind of wish that the lines on the dragonfly would have been a little bit thinner. But, you know, what do you do? And here I'm just applying some builder gel builder in a bottle just to cover up the bump the bumps and the marbles from the powder the acrylic powder that I used for the coloring of the dragonflies I think the other one turned out a lot better for some reason the lines were thinner but that is how this turned out and I have no idea if I said half of what I wanted to say in this video but I hope you have a fabulous day if you like this video if you want to see more of me give me a thumbs up subscribe leave me a comment down below say hi how you doing whatever you want and I will see you again next time bye